guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kia J. If you're not familiar with me, I do videos on hair care, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, and new to my channel, home videos. So I recently moved into my new home. I'm so excited because I've been here for approximately 60 days and a lot has changed in 60 days since I showed you my last video, my empty house tour. So some of the things that have changed, one, I pretty much got furniture throughout the entire house. Um, I did not paint my house. That was one thing that I really wanted to get done once I moved in the house. So you'll notice that there's not a lot of pieces um, on the wall. The house is just one color throughout. I'll leave the paint color below um, because a lot of you guys asked about that in my last video. So that is one thing that doesn't make the space complete. I do plan to paint next year, um, but for the most part, from a financial aspect, we thought it would be make more sense to um, utilize a lot of our budget on the furniture rather than the paint. So I plan to do that later on. Um, and there's not a lot of accent pieces throughout the house. I still have to furnish it with accent pieces as well as a lot of staple furniture pieces, which is in that room and doesn't have a coffee table or end table. So you'll see little things like that that's not furnished throughout the house. But for the most part, we have been living in here 60 days. Um, our house was completely furnished. Um, we didn't, we barely bought any furniture from our new house. So I just wanted to show you guys, please keep in mind, don't be too critical. Um, like I stated, it's only been 60 days and I still have a lot more to go. Um, so I'm not even going to keep rambling. I'm just going to go straight into the video. So when you first walk into the house, you will notice this sign that says, welcome, please remove your shoes. I got it from Etsy and I received a question on my last video. Um, no shoes are not allowed in the house. So as you enter, you see the pretty much the entire layout of the house. I'm just showing you guys the foyer area, which is pretty empty right now. So I do have to add a console table. I will also be adding some accent pieces as well as family pictures along that wall so the next room that you see is the formal dining area I purchased this large table from Haverty's which I absolutely love it sits eight people the lighting makes the fabrics look different colors but it is the same color I do plan to add a runner and some accent pieces to this table I want to show you guys the legs because that is the reason why I really fell in love with this table I also plan to add a buffet when I purchased the table the buffet just seemed like it didn't fit but once I got it into the space it looked perfect I also plan to add a chandelier along as well Okay, so moving right along to the formal living room, I purchased these two blue chairs from at home. I actually purchased them before I bought the house and I fell in love with it and knew that I wanted to design around the chairs. So I have two sofas that I got from American Signature Furniture and I'm just showing you guys how I've decorated the shelving units. I've added family portraits up there and as soon as we moved in, we did get TVs installed on on the walls of all of pretty much every room in our house and here is the other side of the shelf I found those vases at Haverty's for $10 each so here is some other pieces that I've added along the shelving and here is another view of the living area I did purchase these pillows from Z gallery I do plan to add wallpaper along that wall behind the living room and the dining room just to kind of cut off the space as well. So moving right along into the kitchen, i just showing you how I utilize my counter space. There's a knife set. I don't want anything to be shown. 
So I'm just using the plants to hide the knife set. And here is another look of the countertop space. I don't like anything on the countertops or the island. So I've just pretty much kept it the same, really focusing on how big and beautiful this island is. So here is my mud room. It's pretty simple. Um, I try to get a really good angle, but this was the best angle that I could get. I do need to add a cushion to this space and just um, to add it along that bench because it does get quite dirty from sitting on it. And I add a little coffee station um, that I usually make coffee and, and bagels in the morning. So now moving along to the guest bedroom it's pretty much finished i used some pieces from my old master bedroom and my old guest bedroom to kind of tie this along together and that painting was from our old living room so i do have to add bedding to this room i'm not satisfied with how the bedding looks and there's a dresser that we still have to put together um when you move, things get lost, so we still have to find the screws and things to put this dresser together, but this room is pretty much completed. This is pretty much the most complete room that we have in the house. So this is the upstairs loft area. I have this huge, deep sofa, and actually, I don't recommend this sofa. It is getting returned. I purchased it from American Signature Furniture. It is a dupe from the Z Gallery Ventura sofa um and i do plan to return it just because it's just not comfortable at all and there's another television along the wall and i still have to add a lot of furniture into that room so moving right along this is the princess room um her room does need paint i do have some decals that i do want to add to the wall um but i'm gonna wait until we paint that room this room i'm i'm not sure if we're gonna wait to the year when we paint the whole house or we might just paint this room first um separately um just to kind of make it into her really girly room so i'm just showing you her closet her closet is pretty big so um at the top we do have her clothes and then at the bottom we have her toys as well What I do like about her closet, it gets plenty of sunlight. It has a big open window, so most of the time I don't have to keep any lights on. that that is the wall that we do plan to paint and add accent pieces as well. This is where she does a lot of her homework, a lot of her playing and things like that. Um, I did leave the pink rug from our old home and that bench and pillow set we did purchase from Ross. She does a lot of sitting there when she's playing on her iPad. She really loves to utilize that bench. So her bedroom leads right into the bathroom. It's a Jack and Jill bathroom, but this bathroom is all hers. Um, so that's her vanity right there. Those um, pictures were from our old house, um, and she pretty much decorated this herself. I still have some more stuff that I need to hang along the walls, but as I stated, I'm not sure when I'll be hanging off things on the wall because we do... Um, plan to paint this house so this is the other vanity area and here is my office where I do a lot of my work as well as record and edit a lot of my videos this room I really want to really really take my time to decorate because I want it to be a really nice home office so it's pretty much bare that wall right there is where I do record some of my videos because I do like to record along a blank wall so as you can see a lot has not been done to this room but in a year
year from now, I'm pretty sure it'll look a whole lot different and I can't wait to take you guys on a journey of redecorating this room. Well, decorating. <laughs> so, moving right along, here is the laundry room. It's pretty basic. I've added our washer and dryer that we bought from our old house. I have my Dyson, my mop hung up, and I we did go ahead and get a sink installed. Um, I do plan to change the sink out. I'm not really satisfied with the sink and some of the hardware was missing when we purchased the sink, but I use, I pretty much use that sink to wash my hair and wash my daughter's hair. So here is the master bedroom. I absolutely love the furniture that we picked out for this room. We have a really high headboard. And this room has a lot of glass in it. As you can see, the two end tables are made out of glass as well as the chest of drawers, which is made out of glass. I got this whole set from American Signature Furniture. And over here, we just have the dresser with the TV um, above it. This room really does stay pretty neat for the most part, just because it just doesn't have a lot of furniture in it. Just these pillows from Z Gallery. Um, the same time I purchased the pillows downstairs, and I purchased those lamps from a store called Bargain Hunt. Bed. I still need to add a bench in front of the bed of this room. Here is the master bathroom. I received so many compliments on this bathroom and thank you so much because this is the house, this is the part of the house that really sold me. So this is my side of the bathroom. I have my vanity hair, which I try to keep minimal. Um, I do utilize a lot of the drawer space, but I also use, I also um, have my hair products as well as my makeup because I pretty much use this space every day to do my hair and or makeup. Shower and bath. I decorated with some pieces that I picked up at Home Goods, just some flowers, candles, bath salts, and things to make the space feel like a spa. Moving right along, we have the walk-in closet. Um, the walk-in closet is something that I want to get built just because I just want a built-in walk-in closet. So I pretty much put some things in here myself to just organize everything and just to make everything look as best as it could despite the fact that it is not a walk-in yet. I don't feel like it's as organized as it could possibly be, but I did get these shoe organizers, which you can pretty much build. I got his shoe organizers from... Lowe's and I got my shoe organizers from Target. F so here is a complete view of the entire closet. Hey guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any suggestions, 
make sure you leave them down below i'm definitely open to any suggestions that you have anything to help me improve my space um you guys gave me so much great feedback on my empty house tour video and i did take a lot of that feedback into consideration so as i stated the house is not fully furnished yet i still have a long way to go but i do plan to take you guys along this journey with me and if you like to see more videos on my home let me know below and thumbs up if you found this video helpful if you enjoyed the video and if you enjoy this kind of content so thank you so much guys and i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching bye